Hey everyone! Imagine waking up one day, and the ground beneath you suddenly shakes violently. Buildings sway, roads crack, and people panic. Did you know these events are linked to movements happening deep within the Earth? Today, I'll uncover the science behind faults, how they work, why earthquakes happen, and how they impact the Philippines. Stick around because what you learn today might just save lives. Let's break down what we'll cover. Education. This is presented to you by Education 4708. Just proceed to view the full content. What are faults? Types of faults and their real-world impacts, active versus inactive faults, the most dangerous fault lines in the Philippines, and how to stay prepared for earthquakes. And stay tuned until the end because I'll share a real-time earthquake hazard map that you can use to check if your area is near an active fault. First up, what are faults and how do they cause earthquakes? The Earth's crust isn't one solid piece, it's made up of massive tectonic plates that are constantly moving. When these plates push against or slide past each other, stress builds up along fractures in the rock. These fractures are called faults. When the pressure becomes too much, the fault suddenly moves, releasing energy in the form of seismic waves. That's when we experience an earthquake. But not all faults are the same. Let's explore their different types and real-world activities connected to them. There are three major types of faults. Normal faults, reverse faults, and strike-slip faults. Normal faults are caused by tensional stress, pulling apart. One block of land drops downward relative to another, forming valleys, rift zones, and fault scarps. A real-world example in the Philippines is the Marikina Valley. Activities like rock climbing and hiking can be done in these landscapes. Next, reverse faults are caused by compressional stress, pushing together. One block of land is forced up over another, creating mountains and earthquake-prone zones. An example in the Philippines is the Philippine Fault Zone. Trekking in these mountainous regions is common. Lastly, strike-slip faults are caused by shearing stress, sliding past each other. The land moves sideways, displacing roads, rivers, and buildings. The West Valley Fault in Luzon is a major strike-slip fault. Geographic studies often focus on displaced landmarks caused by these faults. Not all faults are equal. Some are more dangerous than others. Active faults have moved in the last 10,000 years and are likely to move again, posing the highest earthquake risk. The West Valley Fault could trigger a magnitude 7.2 earthquake affecting Metro Manila. Inactive faults haven't moved for a long time and are unlikely to cause earthquakes. Now let's take a look at some of the most dangerous fault lines in the Philippines. The Philippine Fault Zone stretches from Luzon to Mindanao. The West Valley Fault, capable of producing a magnitude 7.2 earthquake, is the most dangerous in Metro Manila. Other significant faults include the East Valley Fault, Central Leyte Fault, and the Cotabato Fault System. Knowing about fault lines is crucial, but the best thing we can do is prepare. Before an earthquake, secure heavy furniture, identify safe spots, and prepare an emergency kit. During an earthquake, follow the drop, cover, and hold technique. Stay indoors if safe and move away from windows. After an earthquake, expect aftershocks, check for injuries and damages, and follow emergency broadcast updates. Use the FIVOX Fault Finder app to check if your home is near an active fault. Earthquakes are unpredictable, but by understanding faults and staying prepared, we can minimize risks and save lives. Like this video if you found this lesson valuable. Share it with your friends and family so they can stay informed. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more educational videos on science, nature, and disaster preparedness. Question of the day, do you live near an earthquake-prone area? Comment below and let's discuss.